Hey, welcome to another Farmer Friday, and we're out in our tree fields here in July, and we're pruning our trees and looking at all of the grass and the other vegetation that we use between the trees to encourage pollinators and to stabilize the soil. And we've got Farmer Andrea with us again. Hello. So Andrea, um, you know, there's a lot going on in our fields here. We obviously are growing Christmas trees in these blocks of fields. Uh, however, there's a lot of other vegetation in between them. Could you explain Correct. a little bit what's going on here on this very steep sloped area? Sure, Tom. Well, you just uh, hit the nail on the head, so to speak, there. This is a steep slope. It is a rocky slope. Perfect for growing Colorado blue spruce as it is um, pretty true to their natural habitat of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. So on this steep slope, and when growing any crop, you are at risk of soil erosion, where with a heavy rain or maybe even not a heavy rain, uh, soil can kind of go down the slope side, which of course is not good structurally for anything you're growing, um, or it, it could lead to also nutrient depletion. So we combat that by growing and planting uh, fescue grasses. This has not been mowed, but this is showing kind of the potential growth of those fescues. We also have um, dwarf fescues that will never reach that height growing within our tree blocks. We um, don't really mow within our tree blocks, so it's important to select varieties of these grasses that will not get as tall as what you're seeing in that aisle over there. So this grass is critical for stabilizing our soil, maintaining a healthy soil structure and profile. As you noted, we also allow other vegetation to grow in some cases it ends up being problematic and we have to address this uh, to protect the health and vigor of our crop. Yeah, that's uh, an invasive uh, plant right there. This is bittersweet. Bittersweet. It oh. is. Um, and then this is Virginia creeper. Two non-natives, invasive species that are uh, Christmas tree growers, uh, natural enemies. Um, but what but, is life without some But then challenges? a couple feet away. We have beautiful Queen, Queen Anne's, Anne's lace. lace, which is known to be a very good um, species for pollinators. Mm -hmm. So we encourage the growth of Queen Anne's I've lace. I've got another video up in our Block 17 yes. with Terry uh, last Excellent. year. You could smell the smell of honey. There were so many bees there with the pollinators. It is. It's a beautiful sight as a farmer and guest, I'd imagine. So... That's why we foster the growth of this vegetation to stabilize our soil, to maintain soil moisture content, um, and to support our pollinator population. Terrific. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you.